what's going on guys it's back out to Alan back with another video the 2k21 demo came out today and everyone's excited making builds I know it was pretty difficult for everyone to make some builds I low-key like it was it was really hard for me to make builds on in the beginning I was struggling a lot if you guys saw me on stream appreciate you and I think I found my build so far so it's gonna be this pie chart right here red and orange just as the same as last year guys we're playing the same way and then and it's gonna be really fun guys I can't wait for 2k21 honestly you gonna want to go with this profile you're gonna want to upgrade close shot driving layup driving dunk you get uh, I think we lower close shot until no we get eight actually I'm wrong you get eight. this is the way I wanted it to be you upgrade this three-point shot free throw until you get seven that's perfect and then you go to pass accuracy you upgrade this this is gonna be a really good build guys I did, did nerf the two-way slashing and playmaker but this is still gonna be a really good build so don't do not worry then you upgrade perimeter defense lateral quickness steal block uh, not block sorry defensive rebound this is a preference you, sh you could e you could either spend more on finishing shooting or you could go into your defense but for me personally I'm going with offensive rebound honestly these guards do not have rebounding on and None of them can grab the one, especially the, the shorter point guards are good this year. So I'm just going to try out the meta. I'm going to put it on offensive rebound. We'll see how it's going to uh, go throughout the year. If it's bad, I'll make a new build. And think it's, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. But for now, I'm going about offensive re for offensive rebound. You put the rest on into your defense and you should have 21, 27, and 8. Like I said, you could take off offensive rebound. You could put it on shooting and finishing. But I think 8, 7, 20, and 21 is good for me. So I'm going with defined 6, 5. He's going to be a super tall size point guard. No, this is no one's going to go with this. But from what I've seen, I made a play shot this tall. And it seemed the best because your speed is very low. But for this build, 6, 5 is really good. Now I'm going to go with... Um, the one that hits 90, 94 acceleration because when I hit 99.9, .9, I'm going to have 99 regardless. So I'm going to go with this one. And wingspan, this might be a little controversial, but I am going to go with all the max wingspan. So it is a 64 three-pointer, but that's what I had last year. I know Mike Wing said you need a 75 to shoot consistently, but you know how 2K is, and I know how this game works. So this is what I'm going to be going with. The stats are looking solid all around, and this is going to be a really good build. And one thing I do want to point out is when you go all the way down, you lose stuff on defense. So that's the only reason why that I'm going up. And you get driving dunk and everything else. So that's pretty cool. And also one one also pretty cool thing is ball handling goes only down by one. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. And per personally, this is the best takeover, I think, still. But I'm going to go with playmaking takeover because that's my favorite takeover in, in all the 2Ks I played. So I'm going to, going to go with playmaker. Uh, and we made the two-way slashing playmaker. I wish it said two-way playmaker, you know, has something different, but it's all good. We'll go with the two-way slashing playmaker. And now I'm going to show you guys the badges. Uh, let's put them to 99. Let me know if you guys found any interesting builds. DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube if you haven't uh, followed me there yet. So we're going to go with contact finisher. We're going to go with slithery. And relentless. We do not need fancy footwork. We are not going to be doing that. I don't even know if they patched it or not. I haven't really played enough, but we're going to try. We're going to do this for now. And thank God there's no more quick draw. I'm so happy, guys. You don't even understand. So let's go with uh, range extender, hot star bronze, green machine on silver, and we can do a clutch shooter on bronze. Or if you have hot zones in the park, if you're seeing this video, you should do hot zone hunter. This is going to be a really fun build to use, I think, honestly. We don't know how the park is going to be yet. Hopefully, it's going to be fun. We'll see. This is the build. this is the badges I'm going to use while I'm playing park. Not the demo. The demo, you can switch it up to whatever you want. But this is how what I'm going to use playing park. This is my setup last year, and it's going to be the same this year. Actually, we might we might not know. Maybe stop and go. Then maybe they change some badges. We'll see. And for defense, this is what I'm going to be going with. Clamps Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame. Pick Dodger Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. We'll turn this on to silver, just for now. Silver, silver, silver. Oh, we have one extra badge. I haven't thought about this yet. You know, let's put this on gold, and then we'll put this on Hall of Fame, actually. Let's do this. This is interesting. This is going to be my setup for the defensive badges. I went through that way too quick. All right, and the jump shot we're using for this is Dwayne Wade. Let's see if we can get some clips playing this. Give me that yes. I'm already loving this, bro, so much. Ah, we back. 
Lob to Montrose Harrell. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, who the fuck is this for? 